Hello everybody. In this section, I'm going to quickly go over how to create a string mask system in Abacus. So uh, let's first go ahead, create a part, uh, 2D planar, discrete rigid point. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, now this point, it needs a mass. So inertia, create, continue, select the point, okay, uh, it was 0.77 e minus 3, okay, so now, it, now we have the point mass that we needed, now go ahead, go to assembly, create the instance, okay, now make pattern, uh, for now, let's just have 10 uh, separated by 1 millimeter and nothing in the y direction, just the x direction. If you zoom in, uh, you'll see oh, you have so many. Now, after this, we need to connect these masses using strings. To do that, go to assembly engineering features spring create continue first point and then the second point similarly first second first second first second okay so string stiffness would be 1.4 E9. You can have the damping, but I decided to not have it right now. Now, the next thing is to create the step. Create a step, uh, I would have dynamic implicit continue so the time period the simulation will run would be for one second incrementation fixed uh, each increment be 1 e minus 3 that is 1 millisecond and 1000 such increments would add up to one second bear in mind that these numbers will change we will change these numbers depending on our simulation study but for now, let's keep these numbers. Because that step is needed to define the boundary conditions. In this case, what I'm going to do is on this first mass, I'm going to apply a harmonic displacement along the X direction. So create displacement for this mass, the first mass, okay, and u1, you just multiply it 1 e minus 4 with periodic amplitude. I'll just call it harmonic input. And here you have the option of selecting the circular frequency. Uh, let me have 100 hertz. Or how much is 100 hertz? 100 times 2 times 5. 628.32. 628.32. 0, 0, and here A and B are, um, let me show you how it works. So, it is sort of um, the displacement A or U 
equals a sin omega t plus b cos omega t or perhaps it's the other way around but it's basically just this so i'm gonna uh, set one of these to zero and i'm just gonna give one of these to one so then u becomes will be cos omega t or perhaps it's sign i'm not sure uh, you can look up in the abacus uh, user manual but that's basically the explanation to a and b i'm going to have a at 0 and b at 1 okay so the amplitude has to be harmonic input 1 e minus 4 multiplied by that value so you would have a harmonic loading with 0.1 millimeter amplitude okay so you can see there is a little arrow there um, which shows the boundary condition now also there is another important thing though uh, because we are interested only in the x direction let's say that the other two degrees of freedom are zero so we don't have to think about the other direction okay uh, at this point you can go ahead create the job create the job and okay you are basically ready to submit this simulation but before doing so um, okay, I like to always write the input because I don't like to use the GUI I show you how to not use the GUI but at this point I'm just gonna click write input so it writes an input file you can now you are basically now ready to run the simulation and uh, probably read the results but like i said a few numbers have to change for example these are only 10 masses but if you remember we need 10 power 4 mass and also the values in the step have to change but this is the standard procedure that i follow create string mass system in an abacus. Thanks.